Hey everyone, Eric with Rockin' H, and in this episode of How It's Made, I'll share you how Chris's truck came together. Chris rang me up and asked if he could get a replica of the end dump truck that he drove for Ferris Brothers Harvesting this summer as he was out having an adventure on weed harvest. Ferris Brothers are one of the few custom harvesters that still run end dump trucks. So Chris said, I want the truck, a header trailer, and a MacDon header. I hooked him up with all, and here I'm going to explain how I put it together. What we have here is an Ertl 367. This is the base or the donor for this project. Not a glamorous truck, but it did suit this purpose very well as the real truck is a 367. This is a replica of Ferris Brothers Harvesting's 367 that Chris drove this summer of 2020. He wanted a replica of, it, of the truck that he spent the summer in on his uh, harvest. What I did to begin was to take it apart. There's a screw right here that holds the cab to the plastic mainframe. The original truck had a plastic frame from the front to the back and these fenders are also plastic and molded into the frame. The only piece that's die cast is this die cast half of the cab. There's also a screw that holds a flatbed which is what this particular truck came with on. I discarded that and then I had this long plastic frame to do something with. Rather than keep and reuse any part of that frame I went ahead and bought a die cast promotions uh, frame. I couldn't tell you which one it was but I bought a frame for that which is a die cast frame and then married it to the plastic frame. How did I do that? I went ahead and cut all of the plastic uh, down from front to back. So this was actually, I had way more plastic frame than I needed. I cut it down to fit quarter inch channel right here. Then I went to the die cast frame and cut it down and then measured it so it, my mounting frame for the bed would be the same length. So I used that as my guide and cut the plastic frame down, then cut the die cast promotions frame down to where it was three and a half inches long from the back of the cab to the back of this uh, running gear here. I went ahead and used uh, plastic C-channel to join the two parts together and then painted it flat black to match the frame. The bed is 22 foot long and is and was made out of evergreen 4528 metal siding. That replicates the aluminum style bed that they run. The floor is styrene plastic sheet also from evergreen. Couldn't tell you what brand it is, but it is just a flat sheet that I cut down to make the bottom of the bed. The rear end gate is uh, a 3D printed end gate out of my store. This is something I've had in my uh, store for a long time. Reuse that as well as the 3D printed rollover tarp frame. All of the 3D parts that I'll mention are for sale in my store. The plastic sheet you can buy online at Hobby Link or any hobby store and is really cheap. You can make a ton of grain beds by hand out of one sheet of this plastic as well as the flat floor. The rollover tarp frame is rolled up electrical tape. Not my favorite way to make a simulated rollover tarp, but it's economical and it's the best solution I've found at this moment. This is a 3D printed ladder that I had cut down to simulate the ladder on the real truck. The air tank here, this toolbox, this toolbox, and the battery box on the passenger side are all takeoff parts from my parts bin as well as this exhaust here. Again, parts from my parts bin. These are 3D printed tanks and uh, simulate the real ones. Diecast Promotions wheels that came with this uh, running gear are what I used here because that's what they have on the real truck. And then Canada Coat floats for the front end. The visor and the front end are all stock to this truck. I did use a paint pen to give the clearance lights the orange color they deserve. There's a hitch on the back of this truck which is just angle brass that I drilled a hole in and then rounded off and glued in place using a black paint pen to give it the black color. You'll notice the mud flaps attached to the bed as it raises here and then the mag black mud flaps on the back. These are all electrical tape that have been folded onto itself and cut down and glued in place. The decals for this truck were printed in-house because this is a white vehicle. I can do those in-house. I paid a freelancer at Fiverr.com to replicate the art and then resized it using a jig that I had made uh, in Microsoft Publisher where I took a photo of this truck, sized it down to what it is in real life, 
and then laid the artwork on top of that image to get the right size for both the driver, the passenger, and the driver's side. The hoist is 3D printed and a silver sharpie was used to give the ram some color here. DOT, DOT tape finishes this truck off and that is how it's made. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching How It's Made. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel, like and leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, go to diecastlab.com, the world's only diecast classroom where I teach you everything I know in easy to consume video series, all sorts of other goodies, downloadables, and other content to help you make awesome models. Thanks so much.